Hello everyone and welcome to another Destiny 2 guide video. In today's video we're going to be discussing the Inverted Spire Grandmaster Nightfall and how to best complete it. This week your reward is the Adept Hothead Rocket Launcher which is an arc ro rocket launcher which should be great for next season. Remember this rocket launcher is also going away so get in there and get this thing now before you cannot get it any longer. As you can see on screen we're going to be dealing with arc burn myself ck and cameron this we're going to be running storm chasers with chaos reach and thunder crash you're going to be dealing with arc solar and void shields and we're going to have barrier and unstoppable champions and then we're going to have some special equipment we're going to bring along with this we're going to have the wither horde the arbalist and the outbreak perfected so without further ado let's get right into the builds and you can see how we break this all down Four ascending shards right there so here's the first build, and this is just a Blade Barrage Hunter with Star Eater Scales. As you can see my equipment there, I'm using Storm Chaser, I'm using a Void Pulse, and the Wither Horde. Uh, I will have this build linked below. For Cam, he's using the Outbreak, Outbreak Perfected. He's got the Pointed Inquiry, the Storm Chaser, and you can see he's just on a Thunder Crash Titan with the Curious of the Falling Star chest piece for that added damage. Now, CK is going to be on a Warlock. He's running the Arbalist, an Internal Blazon, and a Storm Chaser with the Chaos Reach and Geomag Stabilizers. And it's just a Warlock build for the Arc. Pretty straightforward. Um, I will not have these builds linked below because um, they're just builds we kind of created on the spot. All right, so in this first area, we're just going to go up here. We're going to pop our Sparrows immediately. Watch out for these Fallen. Don't worry about them. Just run right by them. Pop your Sparrow, come out down the road, kind of hug to the left because you want to avoid that Cabal landing pod right there. Come up to the left, come up onto this little ledge. There will be a few fallen to the right up there. I get stuck in a bush. And you can see them up there. Uh, they've already killed them. There's about two or three of them up there. Then come over to this ledge and start taking out the Cabal and the Fallen below, as well as the Vex. And once you've done that, you can activate the little Vex node and run across. It's pretty straightforward. Stay up here, drop those Wither Hordes, and just uh, stay safe. If you need to, have your Warlock drop his Healing Rift, and he can go uh, and keep the rest of the team healed. But this is pretty straightforward. They don't really pay much attention to you up there. Um, so just kill them efficiently and move on. No, How many more weeks is left? Me, so so you, if you started... Do you need Once you've gone across the Vex Milk Waterfall, you're going to come into this area right here. Again, just slow and steady wins the race. Make sure that you take out these Cabal coming in those landing pods. Stay behind this little tunnel. Don't push in until you feel safe. You see Cam started to push there and he got a little... Uh, a little cocky and he started to back out they will come to you you don't need to worry about you know going to them they will come right to that opening for you and then once you've killed those small red bark of all you can push up and deal with this guy up here on the ledge take out his snipers take him out and then you can go through the vex portal and on to the next area So yeah, I always leave it to the last 10 days to do my dailies because it's like four per character. Yeah, yeah, Then you wait yeah. for six o'clock reset and then do them again. Okay, so this first area is what I would call the first real encounter of this strike. We're going to want to jump in, take out these snipers immediately, have one person hang back on this ledge and take out the barrier champion right below us. They can usually take care of themselves while the other two people push forward and take out their remaining adds within this area. Once that first person that's hanging back is done with that barrier they can move up with the rest of the team this is a solar shielded centurion as you saw in the builds we're not running solar so we're going to take out his shield with the arbalist and then burn him down with the storm chasers we're then going to focus the rest of these ads using the wither horde to help us clear out as many as possible there's a lot of void shields within this strike and that's where the primary focus is have someone take the aggro of these snipers and then work on these void shields on the right and have the rest of your team kind of help out where they can, focusing the barrier champions as much as possible. There's also an unstoppable champion in this area. Team fire and team focus them as they come up and you should be just fine. Make sure to always keep your team healed. As you can see on screen now, CK drops the healing rift. We can stay in this healing rift and really just start to pepper these um, 
champions as best we can revitalizing blast is going to be huge here make sure to always have that equipped on all of your characters so that you can take them out quickly and efficiently and give yourself that little help with the damage continue to work these champions the best you can and then we're going to focus on the champions below and take those out eff effectively ain't coming yeah he's coming he's finishable there you go Okay, so once you've taken out everything up top, it's time to focus these last two remaining champions down below so you can get that platinum score. There's going to be a barrier and an unstoppable down here, and just rain fire from above. Use your wither hordes, use your revitaling blast stuns to take these two out effectively, and then move right on to the next area. Again, they can't really do much damage to you from down there, so it's really um, pretty simple just to take these guys out and move on. <laughs> as we come into this next area you're going to be greeted by a barrier champion team focus and bring him down effectively and then move on to the snipers at the top left bring them down as well and so they don't do any uh damage to your team they can wipe you out so make sure you take them out jump down here you're gonna have two melee red bars to take out a nice little mini crash there to help help out your team use some nades if you want, you can stay up where that barrier champion was and just kind of take these guys out from distance, from safety, and that's totally fine. It is a much safer route. They do hurt, and if you have under 100 resilience, those melee guys will kill you in one shot. Jump down here, take out these re remaining red bars, and then it's going to be on to two barrier champions and an unstoppable. And we're going to have to team focus and fire to get those down effectively. So we like to jump down into this area where the tank spawns on the normal version and work these champions from up here. Make sure to keep Wither Horde on the ground because that extra tick damage will help out a lot. And anytime you're able to stun, make sure to keep stunning and do your best to break those shields so they don't heal up. Arbalist is a great benefit here because you can just one tap those shields and break them up um, effectively. Also, the revitalizing blast, as you can see, can do damage to everything as you do it. So the more uh, stuns you get, the better. We also like the burner super here, as you just saw, and kill one or two or all three, if you get lucky, with one shot and move on to the next area. To move on to the next area, we're going to want to jump on our sparrow and take the sparrow to the right. Yeah. Be careful as you come into the battlefield here, as there will be f cabal landing ships coming in, and you can be... Uh, killed by them in one shot so hang to the right as much as you can and go off to the right once you get here you're gonna have your chaos reach warlock as you're gonna see on screen now take out the spawning cabal to the left there's gonna be a big pile of them and as you can see the chaos reach makes quick work of them as well as a little wither horde and you can move on and take these guys to the right out there is gonna be an arc shielded gentleman in here you're gonna want to take him out and then you can jump on top and work the barrier champion. Yeah, you did. Jeez. Okay, so once you've taken out that arc guy down below, jump up on top. And really the only things that can hurt you up here are the sniper that just died on screen and this barrier champion. You work as a team and focus this guy and bring him down effectively use those revitalizing blasts use your heavy weapons if you don't have the storm chaser yet the tarantula could work very well here as well as arc rocket launchers you can take them out and move on to the guys down below in the other little area down here drop a wither horde back there and it will help to take out everything uh, besides that arc shield you see on the screen now also there's some explody barrels in there you can kill them and it will also help to take those out quickly these art guys can one shot you so don't push right in there work from cover work from behind stay smart and then move on to these two solar shielded centurions again we're not running any solar weapons so we're going to want our arbalist person to break their shields and communicate to the team that they've been broken so that we can focus them and bring them down effectively as you can see we are doing now 
Once they are done, we like to stun the champion on this next area from up top. You can see them. I don't have unstoppable, so there it's an unstoppable champion up there. They're working to stun him while I move forward. I have my super. I know I can kill that champion. So they're going to communicate to me. He's stunned. I'm going to go up top. And of course, as soon as I get there, he comes out of stun. Use glassy restoration, get away, stay safe. If you communicate with your team effectively, you can get up there as he's stunned and then just super him and it's out. They get another stun off, I get the super in, and we're on to the next area. With revitalizing blast, by stunning that guy from back there, it kills all of the remaining ads that are up there with him and it's very safe for you to go up there at that time. Once you're done with that, you can move on to the little drill area or the little command center here. And we're gonna have a barrier champion down below I like to kind of rest myself on this little ledge right here, but you, I would stay up top. Do not drop down until you know it's safe. I know that he's low, so I go in for the kill. I can then focus on these melee guys as my team joins me. In the two of them, guys. Oh, she's a... Oh, she's a... Starters up. Okay, once they're dead, you're going to flip the switch to activate the little launchers and they're going to start moving around. As soon as that happens, this pod's going to come in and it's going to drop an unstoppable champion and two red bars in with you. I like to drop Wither Horde for them. But one thing to note on that stun is don't do it as soon as he comes in. If you do it too early, he will not stun and will just continue to move, move towards you. Wait a second, stun him, drop the super on him, and get him gone quickly. Now... As you can see, I'm standing up on this little barricade. This is, the dogs cannot hurt you up here, and it's essentially my job to keep the dogs off of my teammates. So I'm dropping Wither Horde on either side, and the dogs will run right into it. Obviously, I can't always get every single dog that comes through, but I do my best to get as many as I can. Watch out for that barrel underneath you, because if it explodes, it will kill you. The outbreak perfected here is also very clutch as as you get one kill on a dog, those little nanites will f find out another dog and kill it as well. So between the outbreak perfected and your wither horde, you should be able to take these dogs out from safety without a problem. Make sure that the wither horde's always on the floor in front of your teammates so that they don't get oh, pushed by the dogs and then die. Once everything has been successfully eliminated, run over here to the right where you can take out those snipers if you wish. You don't have to, but we like to kill them and make sure they're down before moving on to this next area. Go through the little teleporter thing, make sure to jump before the end, and you'll be into this next area where you're going to find three different void shields plus an unstoppable champion. Don't let this unstoppable champion get too close to you as he will mess up your team very quickly. So keep him at bay, keep him stunned, and you do what you need to to bring him down effectively. Use your heavy, use whatever it might be to bring him down before he gets too close. If he gets too close, he can really start to mess up your team. Bring him down, and then we'll move on to the next area. I think that guy in the back still there. No. So as we come into this drill over here, we are going to meet another champion, plus some red bars. I like to jump onto this little platform here and work from distance. Don't push too early, as if these guys will rush you, and they can mess up your team uh, pretty quickly. So I like to stay up here. You can have one person down, one person way up top, whatever works for your team, but don't get in danger too quickly. This unstop will push you. Again, keep him at bay. Don't let him get too close to you because he will wipe your team uh, pretty quickly if he does get in there. You can let him get close and then get a finish off, however, that is pretty effective um, as long as you can bring him down. As you can see, we're going in for the finish and we, we didn't really uh, time it correctly. But. Move on, where you're gonna have a couple another uh, ads plus another void shield. Again, he can mess up your team very quickly as well. So again, keep him at distance and try to bring him down together as a team, working efficiently and effectively. Use that finisher if you need to. Heavy really isn't a problem here, so don't worry about running Aeon Souls. But once we get into this next area, we're going to want to first kind of take these ads that are pushing us but i also like to focus that explodey barrel right there because that thing has messed me up before and now i'm scared of it so once the little red bars are down focus this barrier champion as a team get him down and then you're going to move on where 
you're going to want to use your Wither Horde effectively here. You're going to have a bunch of dogs, um, plus some other red bars, and two barrier champions. So, you're going to see on screen now, I'm going to bring my Wither Horde out. Lob the Wither Horde in there towards those champions. The dogs are going to be attacking the champions, and if you drop Wither Horde all around them, the Wither Horde will do most of the work for you, as you can see it doing on screen now. Once you get most of the dogs down, you can then focus the barriers. There's going to be dogs up there by that champion and dogs in the lower level as well as you saw on screen. I'm going to go for it right now. I can see them. Keep the Wither Horde there because then they won't attack you once you've moved past these guys. Um, again, a, a one dog can wreak havoc on your team and really mess it up. So make sure those dogs are down while your other two teammates focus the champions. Move on from here and you're going to be in the boss area. Anarchy's going to be good next season. It's arc. Anarchy, I'm, I'm hoping they do grenade launcher stuns next. Week. Once we get to the boss area, it's important to kind of group up here as a team. Don't just have one person down because as soon as you go in, go in, you can start the fight. So make sure the team is together when you drop in. There's going to be three arc shielded harpies. Have your arc person just break these um, accordingly and then take them out. As soon as these guys go down, the boss will spawn. We like to have the Warlock drop a Rift right here just to keep us protected because the boss will focus us. Use your heavy weapons and get him gone as quickly as possible. Storm Chaser does make very quick work of him, but again, if you don't have it, bring a, an Arc Rocket Launcher or the Tarantula and bring him down effectively and have him move on to his next floor. The first floor is Void Damage, so if you do have a Void Super on your team, that can be very effective in moving him on as well. Once you get here, it is now the Blade Barrage's turn. This floor is solar damage. So I like to pop a Wither Horde because that will tell me when he's taking damage and then use my Blade Barrage and that's going to move him down. One thing to note here, if he focuses you with his little chain gun, it will wreck you quick. There is no time to escape from it. So once you've dropped your blade barrage in there, get behind cover like you saw me do on screen, and then you can move on to the next floor. This bottom floor is arc burn. So this is where your arc supers are going to come in handy. He should already be about a third health or lower by this point. As soon as he drops in, make sure you're getting some damage numbers and then pop your supers. There goes the Thunder Crash, and the Chaos and the Chaos Reach Warlock should come in next. But if he doesn't, use your Arc Heavy Weapons and bring him down effectively. And there you have it. You've completed the Inverted Spire Grand Master. Thank you all for watching. If you, this video helped, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for more content from myself, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.